Welcome to Joellen's Kitchen. So we're going to start with a dozen of extra large eggs and we're going to put them into some water over here on my stove. So I'm back here a little bit, but we'll just get it started. What we're going to do is I have this old gas stove. We're going to get the gas on and um, I've got to light it up. There we go. I already have the water in my container. Now the one thing I like to do is to add a half teaspoon of salt. I just measure it approximate in my hand to the water before I put the eggs in. Helps to keep them from cracking. And then I'm simply going to gently drop my eggs. I don't want to say drop, gently lay my eggs into the water. We're making deviled eggs, and it's simply a dozen of eggs boiled in hot water for at least five minutes. And then you get them out and, well, you can pour off the hot water, put cold water on, and then you want to peel the eggs. And I always like to rinse them, make sure that there are no little shells hanging on anywhere. You want to cut it in half lengthwise. And then simply push out the yellow from the white. See if you can see that. There, it's coming out. Whoops, I ripped it a little bit. That's all right. We'll still use it. There we go. So what we have is a bowl of egg yolks. And a tray of the egg whites. So what we're going to do is add one half cup of relish to the egg yolks because I like sweet and sour. So this sweet relish is perfect for that perfect purpose. Some people like mustard in there, but we at our house like the sweet and sour. And I have three quarters of a cup. I use Miracle Whip, but if your taste buds like mayonnaise better, it's your choice. Either Miracle Whip or mayonnaise. Three quarters of a cup. Add that to the egg yolks and the relish. And then you want to add a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you simply want to take a fork and use the back side to mash everything together, and I say mash, mix, uh, whatever terminology you'd like to use, but you're going to have, in the end, a nice, moist, and fluffy filling for those white egg whites that you have prepared. They're great for picnics, but they're good anytime, holidays, or in between. The family loves them, so I'm sure yours will too. But they get very creamy. It's almost like an egg salad, actually. And then there we go, except we don't put any celery in it. You might want to switch then to a teaspoon so you can scoop some of the egg uh, prepared filling and put that into the center of your egg. Put that down on your plate and get the next one and just keep going till you have them all filled up. And the cook should always taste her meal, of course, or her dish that she's making. So here we go. Before we do that, we're going to add a little bit of paprika for color and as well as taste. So sprinkle your paprika on and we're going to try this egg. Mmm. Delicious. Here they are. I hope you like yours.